Welcome back, everyone. This is Frank DeMoor from the End Times Research Ministry. I want to bring you an article that came out on June the 12th of 2015, and I think you're going to find this pretty interesting. The article is entitled, Rabbi Receives Heavenly Message in a Cave of Elijah the Prophet. I'm going to put the link up at my site. This is breaking news from Israel's news, but I'm going to connect the dots, and for me to do that for you, I want to go and read a scripture that is in the New Testament. Now, that scripture is found in Matthew chapter 17, and I'm going to start in verse 1, because this is the picture of Jesus who is transformed into the glory that we know that he has right now in heaven. And this is the scene, it's really called the transfiguration, when Jesus changes from the state that he's in to the glory that we know God Almighty has. So in verse 1 it says this, After six days Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, and led him up to a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before him. In other words, he was changed. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as light. Now, you could see a lot of these descriptions that, that the disciples were talking about in the Gospels. They go along with the description we see of Jesus and his glory in the book of Revelation. So it goes on to say, Just then there appeared before them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Now this is one of the scriptures why a lot of pastors will be preaching and do preach that the two prophets that will be coming back during the tribulation period will be Moses and Elijah. That is a good possibility. And one of the reasons why they say this is because it was Moses and Elijah who appeared with Jesus in his glory. And a lot of people say that they were discussing about what was going to happen during the ministry. Now, I will say this. That discussion is nowhere found in the Bible. That is just something that many people say that they may have been saying. So that's nothing but speculation. And I don't like speculation. All I know is the names that the Lord gives us here are two names. One of them is Moses, the other is Elijah. So all I'm going to say is that there is a possibility that one of them is Elijah. And we do know there's another scripture that I want to point out to you in Malachi chapter 4, verse 5, where it talks about Elijah. It says, Look, I am sending you the prophet Elijah before the great and dreadful day of the Lord arrives. So, of course, he's talking about the tribulation period. So here we see a picture of two cases here. One where we are told that the prophet Elijah is going to be coming before that day. And then the other one, we see him on the Mount of Transfiguration. So there is ample evidence that one of the prophets that will be coming will be Elijah. Now, why is this important? Well, as I pointed out in this article from June 12th, this rabbi, he received this heavenly message in the cave of this prophet, supposedly the prophet Elijah. So what was being said here? is very important so let's take a look and there's a better picture of the rabbi who received this supposedly this word it says on the morning of tuesday june 9th the israeli mystic rabbi aram vecklin led a prayer service at the cave of elijah the prophet in haifa israel along with approximately 30 jewish men and 30 jewish women to pray for the welfare of the jewish people let me scroll down get to the heart of the matter there it says in this world rabbi vecklin was laying on the floor but what happened in that cave according to nakeman was above this world in other words when he was in the cave supposedly it looks like that they were seeing what was taking place on earth from above so it says the rabbi received the message from the jewish people from eliyahu hanavi elijah the prophet so this rabbi was supposed to be getting this word from prophet Elijah. That's why I gave you those scriptures. 
So let's continue. It says that there is a decree from heaven that war will be starting in the south of Israel, will move to the north of Israel, and will continue inside of Israel. Thousands of people will die, God forbid. All Jewish people throughout the world are being urgently requested to unite, to pray together in groups, to fast and give charity in order to avert this decree. Jews are being urged to direct their power of their prayer to beg God to have mercy on the Jewish nation. And here's a picture of the rabbi laying down, supposedly in this cave. Now, what I want to say is this. Is it possible that the rabbi got a word of prophecy by God? Yes, it is. It is definitely possible. I'm not going to rule that out. And one of the reasons why I'm not going to rule that out is, number one, we see evidence in the Bible that Elijah is going to have part of this last day's ministry. So I see no reason why that Elijah uh, can't partake in what's going to be happening in the last days, since he is going to be here talking to the Jewish nation for three and a half years. It is possible. Now on the flip side, does our Lord Jesus Christ need Elijah to relay the message? I don't think so. But it is possible that Jesus did say, okay, Elijah, go ahead and give him this message. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up to you is because what he is saying is going to happen to the Jews. When you take a look at the current events, you see that this Islamic Jihad has been continually threaten the nation of Israel. And of course, we just saw that again on June 15th in this headline, Islamic Jihad threatens Israel over Fatullah. And what they were saying in this case is that if this, when this Fatullah comes down, like it did a couple years ago, that there was going to be huge trouble if Israel came in and stopped this Fatullah the way they did with the Turkish nation. And of course, we saw the, the friendship of Turkey break down in a matter of months to their enemies now. So when we're talking about the destruction of the nation of Israel, what we do know is there's two wars that have to be fought yet. We know one of those wars is the Psalm 83 war, and we see the Islamic Jihad involved through ISIS that are now in the borders, almost surrounding every one of those nations around the nation of Israel. So when this rabbi was told that this war would start in the south, it is very possible that that's what would happen. And of course, we do know that the enemy is to the north and to the east of the Israelis. So it is possible that this battle or this, the destruction that we see coming from this prophet Elijah to this rabbi might be the war that hasn't been fought yet, which would be the Psalm 83 war. That is a possibility. So I'm not going to rule that out. No, I'm going to leave it there, but I will say this. When you take a look at the current events, you see that Israel is being surrounded by the Islamic enemies. And they're continually threatening to destroy the nation of Israel. And so the war is coming. Could it be possible that Elijah was forewarning the Jews about the Psalm 83 war without actually saying it's the Psalm 83 war? It is possible. So as long as I'm here now about this news that came out yesterday on the 15th about the Islamic Jihad threatening Israel over this flotilla, let me play this video for you. Five years after the Mavi Marmara scandal, a new flotilla leaving for Gaza could cause another international crisis. Channel 2 reports Monday. The flotilla is expected to join with several Swedish ships this week. And when it approaches Gaza, Islamic Jihad leader Khaled al-Batash has threatened to end the ceasefire with Israel if the Jewish state attempts to stop the provocateurs. After an investigation, Israeli authorities discovered the vessel to be carrying no humanitarian aid, in fact, no aid supplies at all, indicating how the true goal of the provocative move was to open Gaza to free naval access, which it has consistently used to smuggle in weapons to be targeted against Israel. All right, so I'm going to stop it there. So you see that this 
flotilla could be very, very important when it comes down to starting another major conflict. And we do know war is coming. Will it be the one that this rabbi was talking about? Is having a word of prophecy from Elijah? That remains to be seen. But one thing we do know for sure, and I'm going to end it here. War is coming. The Psalm 83 war is heading towards us very, very rapidly.